So for me that night, I was uh, supposed to go to work actually, and I was suspended from work. Um, but I didn't realize until I got there because I was on a, I was in a union, so it was like a, a, a point system. And I got there like two minutes late or something, and you know, so I wasn't allowed to work that day. So I rode down, uh, I was driving down the street, and uh, um, I was gonna go visit a friend of mine, and uh, he wasn't home, so. Uh, went by the Al Rosa Villa and it happened. I just seen damage, but I didn't even know they were going to be there. So I was like, shit, that's, I'm glad I got the night off work, right? So I went in and started, uh, you know, just hanging out. I was all by myself. Um, it was the first song Damage Plan was playing. I don't remember how long I'd been there, but uh, it was the first song that they played. And, you know, you just heard the music kind of little by little start fading off. And I look, you know, look at Dimebag. You know, I was only from here to Max Holloway. Like, I was literally, if you, if you put it the opposite direction, where I was on the left and the Dimebag was on the right, it'd be that exactly that far away. And uh, I seen Dimebag fall over, and my first thought was that he was stabbed, actually. So, uh, you know, I tried rushing the stage, and a few other people was kind of pushing towards the stage, and other people had obviously realized what happened was try to run from the stage, and then I, I heard him fire off a few other shots. So I started to uh, run off, um, not run away, but I, I, I started to head towards the door. And then I, I stopped myself and I said, you know, I'm not going to get shot in the fucking back, man. I'm not going to let, you know, he, if he shoots me, it ain't going to be in the back. It's going to be looking at him. So I turned back around and then someone as close to you as is to me right now got shot, uh, I think in the arm or something. They didn't get, get killed, but... Um, and I was like, damn, this is real, you know what I mean? And then I, I hid behind this concrete barrier and was kind of trying to figure out like a way to, uh, it was like a concrete pole, you know, try to figure out a way, you know, to either, uh, you know, defuse the situation, do something, right? Like not just run away from the, from the fucking guy, right? And I don't know how long it took, you know, it's all kind of a blur, but, uh, you know, standing there, I seen you know, over to my left, a uh, off-duty police officer came in and uh, shot him with a shotgun. So, uh you know, a lot of it, like I said, is a blur. At that point, I went outside and uh, came back in. And I, the, my last memory um, outside of, you know, uh, um, my last memory of the chaotic part was uh, I seen Dimebag laid out on the floor with his guitar still in his hand, uh, shot dead. So, And then the rest of the night was, you know, just waiting for the police to let us go and talking to police and stuff.